It's just low IQ entertainment. If it's enjoyable to you, that's fine. But the show is so much dumber than it used to be. Okay. Okay. Where are the big... Where are you at? Where are my Game of Thrones fucking fanboys that always want to argue with me over this shit, okay? Oh, where are you guys at? Jesse, you just don't... Why do you even argue about the show at all? Okay, so remember last time... When I was like, how are they able to move all of their armies and nobody knows? Well, Destiny, they shut down the ravens. Well, Destiny, obviously, Cersei controls all the whispers. Well, Destiny, obviously, they have all the spies. It makes sense that they didn't... Okay. How did the Dothraki get all the way across the fucking land? And all that shit. They loaded them up on the boats. They shipped them all off, whatever. rode up. And the Lannister army had no fucking idea that a massive fucking horde of Dothraki and a fucking massive dragon, if they're the ones that control all the ravens and all the scouts and all the shit, can somebody please tell me how they were totally fucking oblivious? The dragons killed all the scouts. <laughs> a dragon is faster than... So the dragons are the fastest, strongest, most powerful things... She used the dragon to shuttle the army? Jamie mentioned they were stretched thin. So stretched thin means they have no idea about anything going on. Alright, that's cool. I like to see the mental gymnastics, okay? That's fine, dude. That's great. They're the most powerful army in the fucking land that just moved across the whole fucking continent to do all their fucking shit. Had no fucking idea that anybody else... Okay, yeah, that's cool. Nice. Alright, that's cool. I like it. I enjoy it. She fold and extracted. How does Brom run? and intercept Jamie moving full speed and jump and knock him off a galloping horse. Holy shit. Dragonstone and where the battle happened were like 10 hours travel time apart by boat and horse. Huh. If they were so close, wouldn't that mean that scouting those positions would be even easier? Oh, did Brom jump off a horse? So he's just like the god interceptor? Don't you think that if you knew you were that close to your enemy, you would be extra vigilant and paying close attention to what they were doing? Don't you think? How would they know how the Dothraki were on horses? How would a message go fast? So the Dothraki galloped at maximum speed for 10 hours on their horses and then rode into combat? That's pretty impressive. Okay. Nice. Cool. I like that answer too. Any more? Dothraki are the best riders. Yep, that's true. Yep, they are. They're master horse riders. Maybe the Lannisters did expect the Dothraki. Oh, yes. We can definitely tell by how absolutely fucking shocked Jaime and Bronn were that they definitely expected the Dothraki to show up. Where the fuck is Gendry? Uh, massive spoiler alert. Do not listen if you are spoiled. Gendrick right now is in King's Landing working as a blacksmith. They're going to go back and find him in a, in a few episodes. Dragons work like arbiters. They have cloaking fields. He went back to King's Landing? Yep, I don't know why. Maybe I'll explain when I find it, but he's in King's Landing right now making um, as a, working as a blacksmith. I have no fucking idea why he went back there, but why not? He worked under that one dude, so he got a stable job there. Yeah, maybe, dude. I would go back to the place that I was running from for the, my entire life because everybody there was trying to kill me. Sir Davos tells him to go back to King's Landing. Oh, sure, maybe. I guess he might have. Do you like the 10 minutes of Pointless Expository that I'm going to show where they have to wrap up the entire plot in 8 episodes? Wait, what? I don't think Arya's power level makes any sense. Um, I guess if you fill in a lot of the blanks, I guess you can, but I don't like that I don't know. I guess it's a matter of passage of time. How long How long has it been since Arya's been gone from Sansa, I guess? Has it, is it supposed to have been like a decade? Are we that far out? Or has it just been a couple of years? Has it only been one year? I can't, the passage of time is very difficult to understand sometimes. Has it only been one to two years? Five years max? If it was like a decade, I could maybe buy it. But I don't like that... So Arya now, if we go by what we know in Game of Thrones universe, Arya, Arya is arguably, at least in the TV show, one of the most power, well, maybe the most powerful one-on-one -on -one fighter in the in the show right now. Arya should theoretically be able to like one-on-one -on -one the mountain, like any show or any any or the mountain at its height of his strength. Arya should be like the strongest fighter in the show now, and she got there because of one year of training. Not really. She tied with Brienne. Did she really tie? It looked more to me like it was almost one. But I mean, even if tied, Brienne is one of the strongest fighters in the whole show. Like, the setup for that battle, it was literally like an anime. <laughs> it was an anime show. Like, hello. Ah, oh, hello, Sanusuke. Um, I have not trained in a long time. Oh, yes? 
I would like to train with you to test our power to see who has gotten more powerful. Like, ah, Sanusuke, I, um, okay, let us train. Like, let me show you my new powers. <laughs> Did you have a problem when Rob ambushed Jamie's army in season two? Um, no. I actually think you could argue that that was somewhat retarded, but um, but I, but I think that they at least tried to sell that as a believable ambush. Um, one, Rob Stark sacrificed a lot of his forces. He sacrificed 2,000 troops to do it, which was okay. But two, more importantly, we got a scene where um, we got a scene where Rob captured an enemy scout, and it looked like he was letting him go. Um, because he was a kind, benevolent person or whatever, when in reality he was using that scout as misdirection, right? So no, I think they did a decent, I think they did a good job at selling that as a, uh, as a believable narrative when, when Rob ambushed the Lannister army. How does it not make sense that the Dothraki were able to move across the Stormless and ambush Jamie's army near his king landing? How can they do it and nobody knows that anybody's moving anywhere? It's just low IQ entertainment. If it's enjoyable to you, that's fine. But the show is so much dumber than it used to be. Like, it's we're basically Lord of the Rings tier. Like, if, you know, if that's enjoyable for you, that's fine. But it's just, it's a huge bait and switch for people that watched the show in the beginning because it was really intelligently written. Don't sit here and try to fucking lie to me that fucking 10,000 Dothraki troops can move across your own fucking territory and you have no fuck, you get totally fucking blindsided by it. That's just stupid. It's just shitty low IQ writing. Like, if you think that's cool, like, that's fine. But don't sit here and try to argue that, like, totally makes fucking sense and that everybody is like, just fuck off, dude. Through a forest, plus the Stormlands has pretty much been abandoned since the Brat. Yeah, there is not a single place that you could mount a rider or not a single village. Nobody saw it was completely 100% deserted. And as a result, here's the pro here's why your argument is bad. Because any argument that you can give for why it would be really hard to scout that terrain would make it more important to scout. That's why you're, that's why anything you possibly say is defeated by your own arguments, right? If this was a StarCraft game, right? Like, well, we don't have any vision over there at all because we lost all of our people. Okay, well, you better get some defenses over there because somebody might attack there. You have to scout it. Send an overlord. You've got to send an observer. You have to send something. That's not an acceptable excuse that, like, well, our whole enemy's army is over there and we can't see anything. Well, you better get something over there then, dude. Like, I'm not insulting Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings was really good at what it did. But it's but Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones were two very different things. Lord of the Rings was about setting up like the really epic battles with the hero units and the and the struggle of good versus evil and the very big like like archetypal epic fucking fights and shit. That wasn't what Game of Thrones was ever um, originally about. Although that is what it is about now. Oh fuck, this armor is breaking in like one shot. If you had to argue on the opposite side of this, what possible reason would you give for why the Lannisters had no idea they were coming? In other words, assume for a minute that the writing is still good. What would you? What good writing would you use to describe the seeming lapse in scouting? Um, it would be. I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know how you, you can't move. You just can't move like these massive armies across all this land and, and in war when people are waiting to fight and like just not know it. I don't know. It would take a tremendous something tremendous. <laughs> Someone baited all the scouts on Twitter so they were distracted. Okay, yeah, there you go. That works. Danny's dragons killed all the scouts. Okay, so people keep saying these, like, really half-assed, autismal fucking answers, okay? But again, like, you've watched me play StarCraft, okay? And StarCraft is much simpler than real war. If I send an overlord, okay, to a part of the map, and every single time I try to send an overlord somewhere, it gets killed by somebody looking for scouts, that is information, right? You know that's information. Let's say that there is a continent... And I send a scout, he okay? We send scouts here, 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 here. But every scout that we send here dies, and we can't get any information about what's going on here. That is information, right? That's information. You wouldn't know your scouts are dead? They wouldn't return. Are you saying that the Dothraki can just get on the, get on the fucking ground and ride straight for fucking 12 hours? And just ride, like, at full top fucking speed for 12 hours? And every scout that sees that massive horde approaching, nobody can just turn around the other way? Their eyesight only works five feet in front of them? Maybe the scouts get lost. Okay. Best riders, Destiny. Okay. What if they rode faster than information can travel? Like, it's... Could you not, like, have a dude with a fucking telescope on King's Landing? Just, like, looking at this place? <laughs> Is this really that hard to do? Like, fuck, dude. Come on. It's right... It's across the... Right here. Can't you have dudes just looking at the place? Like, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Get a guy to stand on top of your tallest fucking meme. Get a fucking telescope. Or, or not even a, whatever the fucking pirates use. And just look at the island. And when you see 400 fucking ships moving across the fucking ocean. Be like, yo, dude. I think there's some shit. I think there's some shit going down. All right. <laughs> even better. How did. It, yeah, like you guys are being so, so like, okay. So here's all of the. Okay. With it, I'm scared. Okay. So first of all. When Danny's army was moving, everybody was like, okay, well, Danny's army doesn't have scouts. They lost all the scouts. The Lannisters have all the scouts. Varys lost all the whispers. Okay. Well, now when Danny's army is moving, how does Danny know everything that's going on on the, on the, how does Danny know that their army's lost? How does Danny know that the Lannisters were there? How does Danny know exactly where that army is and where all of their supplies are? How does Danny know where they're Oh, well, then they scout, like, what, what's your argument there? So now they have the scout, like, who fuck, how do they get the information? The human eye can only see 30 FPS. The Dothraki were traveling at 60 FPS. That's why they weren't able to see them. She's on a dragon? So the dragon is just flying around and nobody in any village reports this? Nobody hears this anywhere? Nobody's like, oh, like, uh, hey, um, I am just want to pass this along, this message along the King's Road. By the way, there was a dragon um, flying around, and I just thought you would like to know that. <laughs> Destiny, they took Highgarden. They're going back to King's Landing. How do they know they took Highgarden? How do they know? Because you guys were just telling me that all the scouts are dead. Every raven is dead. All the ravens are controlled by all the mice that are controlled by all the landers. How do they even know that their armies failed? How do they know that they got ambushed? Why couldn't they? Let's go. Those guys shoot down all the ravens. Why couldn't those guys kill all the scouts? How do they know that these invasions failed? How do they know anything? Do they have perfect information? They literally say it? Who says it? But how do they get the information? They mentioned it in the episode. Yeah, but I'm saying how did they find out about it? Danny has Varus? Okay, but <laughs> here's your This is your problem. If Varus is so all seeing that he knows that the armies are trapped at High Garden, or I'm sorry, that they're trapped at the um Casterly Rock, okay? If Varus knows how all their armies are doing, okay, why didn't Varus know that the whole Lannister army left Casterly Rock to go to High Garden? Which is it? Do they have information about anything going on ever? Or do they have no information about anything going on ever? How, wait, which one is it? How, you can't have it both ways. It doesn't make... Just admit that it's bullshit writing. It's shit writing. It doesn't make sense. It's fucking retarded. And all we're setting up are big, awesome, cool battles for everybody to look at and be amazed by, right? Can we just, like... Can we just agree with that? Like, like I like the tweets. Like, well, the road to High Garden and King's Landing is, uh, it's really sh short. You know, like, okay, well, then shouldn't that make it easier to scout? Okay, well, actually, it's kind of far away. Like, oh, okay, so then shouldn't they have had more time? Like, well, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, well, actually, the dragons uh, shot down all the ravens. And, uh, uh. Wait. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so let me just get the geography right, okay? So, High Garden is here. Okay, so let me let me get this straight, okay? So D Danny's army is here. King's Landing is here, and High Garden is here. So Danny is somehow able to sneak an army all the way around here while they're traveling back from High Garden to King's Landing, and nobody in any of these places has any fucking idea that a horde of like 10,000 Dothraki soldiers. <laughs> okay, where are you at? I gonna, I, oh, the battle happens right outside of King's Landing. Okay, so as their army is moving back to King's Landing, can you tell me which route a Dothraki horde takes from Dragonstone to attack them and no one has any idea? Do they go this way? I thought the Unsullied were at Highgarden. No, the Unsullied are at... um. Casterly Rock up here. Well, you see, what happened was, when I was the king's hand at King's Landing, my father and King Joffrey were actually too honorable to do anything about the sewer work. So what I actually did was I built a massive sewer because at this point in my life, I fucked so many horrors that they had to be able to come in 10 at a time. So what I actually did was I built a massive underground sewer so that I could funnel... Um, I could funnel women from here all the way through the city and then have them go out here. And that's actually where the Dothraki horde. So the Dothraki horde, they all landed here. They went into the tunnels here. They rode underneath King's Landing. And then they came out here and intercepted them. 
Yeah, how many ships do these guys even have anyway? They have enough ships for the Unsullied to take their armies over here, and then they had enough ships to get the Dothraki to all the... Why did Danny only use one dragon? Who knows? Wait, they were still at the Reach? They weren't even at King's Landing? Oh, is that true? Are they over here? I guess maybe they have enough ships to transport the Unsullied and the Dothraki. My favorite thing is still how Ser Jorah was, like, cured in, like, one episode, and it, like, wasn't a big deal at all. <laughs> he has one of the most advanced cases of stone skin we've ever seen. Oh, but I can... Sam, do you know anything about... Do you know anything about gargoyle skin? Um, no, I don't. What are you gonna... How are you gonna cure him? Well, um, I'm gonna get a book, and I'll read it. Oh, okay, Sam. That's never gonna work. And then Sam's like, I read a book, okay? And I have a thing. I'm gonna fix you. Oh, okay, thanks, Sam. And then he did it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, interesting. 